positive and a negative accelerations. Now, um, usually in your school, your teacher will tell you that um, uh, for negative accelerations uh, or when the acceleration is negative, it means decelerations. Deceleration is how fast uh, the velocity decrease. Uh, okay, but uh, this is not true. So uh, this is not correct. Uh, okay, this is not correct. Okay, now why? Why? Uh? Acceleration is a vector quantity, and its sign, uh, the positive negative sign, is determined by two things: uh, uh, its directions and uh, the change of the speed. So. Uh, when the acceleration is negative, it can be the object move in the opposite direction. Not necessarily it must be the speed decrease, eh? okay? It can be the object move in the opposite direction. The speed is still increased, but it moves in the opposite directions. Eh? Uh, I will show you, okay? I'll show, the, show you the examples in the very next slide. Eh? Now, uh, let's see this example, okay? Let's say we have an object, okay? And uh, let's take the directions to the right is positive. Eh? So this object, it moved to the right. So this object, it moved to the right, and therefore uh, the direction is positive, okay? Because to the right is positive. Eh? And uh, the speed increases. Let's say the speed increases. Eh? Now, if the speed increases, then so we say uh, the change of the speed eh, is positive. Okay, speed increase, the change of the speed is positive. And therefore, Therefore, we say uh, the acceleration is positive. Okay, in this case, the acceleration is positive. Huh? Positive. So if the direction is positive and the speed increase, then the acceleration is positive. Okay. Then uh, another case. Huh? The object still move to the right. So therefore, this uh, the direction is positive, huh? but but the speed decrease. Huh? If the speed decreases, then we say the change of the speed is negative. And in this case, the acceleration is negative. Okay? And this is the this uh, and we call this deceleration. Eh? Decelerations. Okay? The speed decrease. Okay? So it undergoes decelerations. Eh? So negative and decelerations. Okay. Uh, that's what your teacher tell you. When acceleration is equal to the negative, it means deceleration. Eh? The speed go down eh? but that's not true because we still have another two more cases okay uh, let's see these two more cases now if if the ball move to the left eh, to the right is positive and to the left then so the direction is negative eh? and the speed increase the speed increase uh, therefore the change of the speed is positive eh? in this case in this case eh, the acceleration is negative Okay, the acceleration is negative, huh? but the speed increase. So it's not deceleration. Acceleration equal to negative, but it's not deceleration. Why? Because the speed increase. Eh? Speed increase is not decelerations. So in this case, the negative sign of acceleration indicates the object move in the opposite directions. It does not indicate decelerations. Okay, it indicates the object move in the opposite direction. So. Uh, when acceleration is negative, not necessary, it must be uh, undergoing uh, decelerations. Negative acceleration doesn't mean decelerations, okay? okay? It can be uh, object moving in the opposite directions. Uh, how about the last case? Eh? The last case. Uh, so the object moving to the left, so therefore the direction is negative, and the speed go down. The speed go down stands, uh, the change of the speed is also negative. And in this case, in this case, uh, the acceleration is positive. Okay, it's positive, but this is still deceleration. Huh? Okay, so you can see acceleration is positive, but the object is undergoing uh, these uh, decelerations. So the positive negative sign of accelerations uh, it does not just indicate uh, accelerations or decelerations, okay? It also indicates uh, whether the object is moving in a negative or positive directions. So next time, so when you see negative acceleration, 
when you see ne negative acceleration, don't don't straight away think that the objects must uh, undergoing uh, deceleration. Not necessary, because the positive negative sign of an acceleration depends on both the directions of the mo motions or uh, how the speed change. Okay, summary. Yeah? So, uh, so for acceleration, if the directions of the motion is positive and the change of speed is positive. Uh, now, change of speed is positive means that um, uh, the speed increase. Uh. So if both uh, the directions and change of speed is positive, then the acceleration is positive. Uh. If the direction positive but the change of speed is negative, means that means that the speeds go down. Uh, okay, uh, then the acceleration is negative. Okay, and this is decelerations. Uh, decelerations. And if the direction is negative but the change of speed is uh, positive. Then the acceleration is still negative. Eh? It's still negative, but this is not deceleration because the speed increases. Eh? Okay? And if the direction is negative and the change of speed is negative, uh, then the acceleration is positive. And uh, this is deceleration. Even though the acceleration is positive, but this is deceleration. Eh? So you see both positive, you get positive. Eh? And uh, one of them is negative, then you get negative. And uh, both of them are negative then uh, you will get positive. But usually, usually in uh, most of the cases in SBM, okay, uh, they are these two, okay? Uh, usually we always take the directions of the motions as positive, eh? but there are some exceptional cases, okay? Especially in these uh, vertical motions, the free falling. Free fallings, you may have a, a object move in the negative directions, eh? okay? Uh, therefore, you must be very careful when you deal with these uh, vertical motions. Eh? Okay, vertical motions. So, for vertical motions, uh, sometimes even the acceleration is negative doesn't mean that is uh, is decelerations.